so here beta our today's next topic that is preparing and drafting okay preparing and drafting that means when preparing and planning your work okay you would like to consider context okay about audience and also the purpose of preparation okay yeah when you are checking it look out the error in spelling punctuation and structure okay so prepare yeah. preparing and drafting preparing that means so when you would like to it is just like as condition that means so when you will think about something okay suppose that you want to write okay so first of all that you would like to think or you will choose a topic okay <clears throat> and yeah. then regarding to your topic you will choose your audience okay yes yeah and also when you choose your audience and then what will be your purpose okay you also have to clarify to your audience okay means it yeah. is you can also understand in this way suppose that when i had started my uh, youtube channel okay so my youtube mm -hmm. channel so firstly i had think about that what should be the name of my channel then as a result that i used to uh, i used to teach each and every student through skype so then i started my channel and online i am teaching so that's why i started channel that skype online tuition okay yeah that's it now then i have to then uh, one thing that uh, so that is your context okay so now so skype online tuition that means my audience will be all those who would like to get knowledge or who would like to take classes online okay that means they yeah. do not have to go anywhere they do not have to go any teachers place okay they always should be at their place and i am here at my place okay so whatever kind of knowledge related to physics science math or english that you only have to tell me that sir today we would like to study this one and then i would like to explain each and everything to you okay yeah so that is that is audience so audience will be all those type of person pupils students okay who would like to get online tuition okay or online knowledge okay yes and what is the purpose so my purpose mainly my purpose is to spread my knowledge of science or mathematics to all okay Yes. as you know that i am a professor of mathematics this time i am working in university of california as a math professor okay so what what does it mean it means that my main aim or main purpose is that means of being math professor that means basically that uh, if anyone would like to ask me about to teach mathematics then yes but it is not possible for me to teach hindi or it is not possible for me to teach social science no because you haven't learned it and then you yeah no 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 I, i i have learned that okay i had learned that but yeah. it is not possible i am not so perfect in those topics okay regarding to social science or history or geography okay and all that but if anyone would like to come to me and ask about the topics related to science and mathematics so 100% i would like to help him okay or her okay yeah so basically that what i mean to explain you here the main thing that is firstly if you are preparing and if you are drafting so that means firstly you have to think about the context that means about which topic okay what should be topic okay regarding to which you would like to means uh, give your speech or which uh, which uh, regarding to which one you would like to prepare your speech secondly you have to you have to target your audience okay yes what type of context that you are choosing regarding to that you have to choose your audience okay and then yeah. at the last that you have to explain about the purpose that means you are choosing audience so that means as i was explaining that my purpose is to spread of knowledge of science of mathematics to all the viewers who would like to go to my channel and who that means in that condition no one is bound okay anyone that would like to go to my channel see my videos 
regarding to topics all that which I am uploading each and every day at least three or four videos generally I used to upload that okay mm -hmm. yeah all that important topics okay and also most important that in that condition when that grade students they would like to see that video then a hundred percent they would like to go through okay yeah and also when I would like to prepare my when I would like to prepare my speech okay or my uh, handwritten statement okay okay then I would like to look out for errors in spelling okay yeah because that only science and mathematics either your spelling either you will misspell doesn't matter of that one but if you are writing something about any other topic related to English or any topic okay then you have to be very careful about your spelling punctuation and structure okay yeah because in mathematics or in science it doesn't mean that uh, your spelling either that your spelling will be right or not okay either that will be a little bit misspell doesn't matter of that one because that science says that whatever you want to explain everything whatever you are writing that's meanings that should be perfect okay yeah yeah it doesn't matter of spelling or any other okay do you understand the basic thing what i what what is the main meaning of preparing and drafting yeah so when you will prepare your content and then you would like to save that okay you and still you are not publishing that so when you will save that one then that will be saved like as draft okay it is also just like as con con condition suppose that uh, you can see that uh, wait a second yeah here you are seeing that uh, I am uploading a video here okay I am uploading a video if I will not publish here okay if I will not publish here you are seeing that publish icon that is given here so if I will not publish that one so that means it would like to be saved as draft okay yeah yes because that because that only me okay only I will be able to see that okay yeah none other than me okay but when I would like to publish that okay then each and every person surrounding to word would be able to see that okay yeah understand yes yeah give me one second You understand all that which I had explained yes okay great okay mm, give me one second I'm checking something I'm here so yeah so here next is now we can see that what is given here so first one is planning so firstly introduction that I give that you in which way that uh, okay you will start to write so here firstly that planning knowing how to start any piece of writing is always difficult okay this is odd because we can all use languages fluently and never had to wonder how to start a chat with a friend okay yeah what makes writing so difficult 
to start is that it is a permanent form okay that when one that allows our reader to dwell upon what we say it needs to engage the reader and often convince them to means that means what type of information that you are writing okay what type of information you want to give to your reader okay so that yes. will be in such a instance that that will be attractive okay that will be impressive and also yeah impressive that means in such a way so that the reader would like to engage each and every time okay and also what you are writing that sentences that should be correct okay so that you are convincing the reader okay about yeah. whatever you are explaining understand mm -hmm. yes yeah so main thing yeah suppose that here you are seeing that there is a dog picture you are seeing here okay so here you are seeing that imagine that you have been asked to write a news article based on someone who rescued a stray dog okay where would you start so that means regarding to that firstly you would like to uh, uh, miss explain that uh, okay uh, miss uh, where that dog was trapped okay suppose that a type of means uh, clamps or railing okay or uh, uh, means uh, any lonely place okay where the dog dog was trapped okay so and then you would like to you would like to pronounce it to reader that means you wouldn't believe that how cruel some people are who would like to leave their pets in such a way okay or in such a condition okay yeah when i saw that dog okay it was very very weak and very very hungry okay a clear a clear cut irritation was on its face but it was looks very pretty so when you would like to when you would like to write this type of sentence okay so that yeah. means and also each and every time that uh, this type of words that would like to come in your mind that means what who when where why and how okay yes. so what means what was the instance or what was the incidence by which that dog was trapped at that place okay or that lonely place okay yeah where no person would like to move okay and also mm -hmm. uh, second second thing that instantly that it will come in your mind that uh, what was the time of, of uh, by which that uh, it was trapped over there okay and uh, who was the people who were the people or who was the people who had trapped who had left his pet in such a condition okay yeah and also next question where so also that you have to explain in your in your article that where if you know about that also if you are if, if you know about that then that well and good if you don't know about that then it will be that uh, i don't know that where that dog came but only it was very it was in very pity condition okay so you have to write in this way okay yeah so next is understand beta yes yeah great great so that means now basically means here you are addressing and also how okay so that means in that way that in how also you have to explain that what will be the exact condition of that pet okay so it would like yeah. to describe dog's condition okay so that means the other person who will have a type of intention to leave their pets okay alone they would like to think about at least one time that either they have to do in the same or not okay because that it is just like as condition that if you would like to if i would like to or your parents would like to leave you okay in a jungle or a lonely place okay where no person would like to be surrounding okay 
Yeah. So what you would like to think, what you will, uh, what you will do there, okay, what you would like to eat, okay, what you would like to think, okay, and where you would like to go after then, okay. So all these types of questions answer that you have to write over there. Also, you have to comment from interested and involved individuals, okay, and what happened to the dog when you had seen, okay, that, okay. And what will be happening in the future, okay? A type of motivational sentence also you have to include in there in your article, okay? So as to explain yeah. that we all, we shouldn't have to do such type of instance so that it that will be brutal, okay? That will be cruel to all the type of pets, okay? Understand? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Do you understand clearly? Yes. Great. That's right. That's right. I hope you are understanding all that. It will be much convenient for you as well as all these students and viewers who would like to visit my channel. Now come to the next one. Oh yes, wait, wait. I have to go back. I have to go back. Give me one second. So what was the picture here also? They are explaining about that or what you would like to write in which way that you would like to write. So article plan that means of that dog picture. Article plan that means the dog was clanged to railings at the back of an empty warehouse. You can't believe how cruel some people are. Said Ethan Moore from cannot so that means it is a type of comment okay sam heard a barking sam heard the barking when he was on his way home on thursday evening at nine so that means fact next the dog will stay at the rspca shelter in the smiley of at least another week so that is his future okay understand yeah. so this type yeah. of this type of sentence and this type of note you also have to write okay understand yeah yes great so now we can move to the next so context audience and purpose so when you are planning to write okay always remember about your context that means about which topic what will be your what will be your topic about which you are tend to write secondly also you have to choose your audience so what topic you are writing regarding to that you have to choose your audience okay if you will not choose your audience okay uh, regarding to your topic okay it will be relevant okay it will be irrelevant and your audience will uh, feel that you are misguiding them okay and yeah. they will never hear they will never hear you okay yeah yeah so that and also you have to explain about your purpose of writing over there also okay yes understand yes so context is what requires you to write a specific kind of text aimed at a particular audience in order to achieve a certain purpose each text type or genre that has its own particular features called gender convention okay you will need to make sure that you include these features okay second yeah. one is your audience as i explained that to you that audience is who you are writing for okay this may be yeah. teenager adults or children okay it will help you planning if you can imaginatively put yourself in your audience place okay so for example if you are writing a letter informing people about a trip it is likely that they will want <coughs> they will 
to know about cost and key facts such as time and places okay means yeah. directly that if you are introducing about your trip okay which you had completed few days before about the people okay so you have to you have to choose the people who are interested who are the lover of nature okay and who are likely to who are uh, likely to visit from place to place okay so that means always you have to describe that what will be cost okay what will be the key facts okay as the time and places okay if you are writing for adults okay this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use long or complicated words just ensure your writing is clean clear sensible and interesting understand yes i yes. am just going to get a screenshot yeah i wait a second wait a second if you want to get a screenshot so now you can take a screenshot hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on give me one second a little bit i'm scrolling up yes okay so context audience and purpose that's the three main keywords do you take a screenshot yes great so now lastly that there will be purpose so purpose that means it is what it is what you want to achieve by writing the text yeah the same thing as i explained that to you that means why you are writing why i am why i am uploading my videos on my channel so the main purpose is that all the student all the parents okay which would like which are not who are not able to reach up to me okay so they would like to see my video and if my video that will be attractive to them or the students who would like to see my video if my video if they will be able to understand that okay or if parents will be if parents will be convinced about that that i am suitable teacher for them then 100% then they would like to then they would like to see my whole video also they would like to if they are using social networking site then they would like to like post or share my and also of course they would like to subscribe my channel so that my upcoming videos that they would like to see after okay so here's yeah. the basic purpose is that my purpose is is to spread my knowledge of mathematics and science to all of them okay yeah so understand yes. yes and also purpose and audience that i will choose that audience that means who will be interested of taking online tuition of science or maths or english clear yes yes and whatever text so that means always you have to you have to text in such a way to encourage reader to accept a point of view but something or give to uh, charity okay these need yeah. a combination of informative okay or persuasive that means of an emote emotive or emotional language okay yeah. a text meant purely for entertainment will generally <clears throat> be more light hearted okay but all text have a primary need to engage the readers attention okay yeah yeah so i think that you have to revise all that beta which i explained this time to you okay in your day after yeah. tomorrow class then it will be uh, then it will be much convenient for you to understand that okay so yeah. thanks for today have a great time and bye bye thank you bye